Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to tell to today you are going to talk about sorry <laughs> about the map function. The map function it is a function that is native to the arrays. That means that comes with the prototype of of the arrays. So it is it, it is native. It, it it comes with the package of uh, not the package the the prototype of the arrays so, so just like sort just like filter just like all of those we need a video for all of those right so today we're gonna touch on the map i already have an object called students students and look at this object this object has an ID, a name, age, and computer science. Okay, so let's do a map through them. So the function map starts with uh, it, it is uh, it takes the you need to write the the array first. So you apply the the function to the array so you you start with map and then it takes a callback okay the callback has uh, the object or more more uh, precisely the element the element that you are iterating and the index so these ones zero one two three and the whole array that's what the that's what the <coughs> callback has so look at this i'm returning i'm using uh implicit return to return the the, the o and if I if I enter, this is not going to change anything because at some point O is the first one, then O is the second one, and then O is the third one, and O is the fourth one. So O is just returning the same. Okay, it's not very. This is not very useful, right? But what if I just want from the students, I just want the name. So if I write the name, but there you go, we have just the names. And what if I want, uh, what if I want the, uh, I, I want, the, the whole object okay so I'm gonna wrap this into parentheses and I'm going to do uh, a spread operator and let's see if that works yeah that works and with the spread operator I can change something so what if I want the measure to be uh, to be the O the O major but uh, to up to uppercase so now we have a, a new object with the major as a uh, uppercase right it has the uppercase so it seems very simple but you can it it is a really powerful uh, it is a really powerful function and it's going to help you a lot with react for uh 
rendering lists rendering not 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 only lists but objects rendering arrays of objects and presenting the ui that you want for instance a menu a menu of elements that has uh, an array with the label of the, of the menu and the uh, menu has uh it's its own uh let's say and the menu has an array and uh i think you get the point i'm i'm just rumbling right here uh what else can we do with the arrays sorry with the map function uh with the map function as you can see we can modify the original object we can mm, uh, we can add we can add elements to the object like uh, I want the let's say I just want the first name I just want the first name and you can do a uh, name well in this case it will be name and then split 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 uh split uh, splits <laughs> split splits by something and co and turns turns what you turns this into an array so if I do a uh, split space uh, I can do this so what is going to happen with this the name is going to be split by the space so it's going to split Alice Johnson into uh, an array of two elements the zero and the one which is uh, Alice the zero the zero will be Alice and the one will be Johnson so let's see what we have so we have everything normal but we have a new friend here called first name and it's just Alice and then Brian and then Carla and then the first name David so it's very powerful it's very useful and it's gonna really help you with react okay so I think we should talk about the spread operator but that's for another video, I think. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.